Stacy Sims, and we are back with more My Butler. Um, we are totally not getting the good ending. Um, there's like the what? Well, it's not like a bad ending. It's like the super great ending, and then like the normal ending. I think um, we're probably getting the normal one because we are at like 67 or 70 percent. Like I think we're at 67 percent, and there's only one more choice. Um, and if we got that perfect, I think we'd get 71 points. There's no fucking way we're getting the good ending. So we'll just have to go, I'll go through and like skip through and do all the right answers to get the, um, better ending probably in the next part. Cause we'll, I mean, depending how long this takes, but anyway, we're probably getting the normal ending first. So. This is what happens when you don't use the guide. But anyway. Later that day, in, in the late afternoon, Unicora came back to the room I'd been waiting in. Sorry for leaving you alone. Were you lonely? Now I really uh, now I really have failed as your butler. He spoke in a joking manner. He smiled as if nothing had happened. Unicora, don't look so down, Spacey. His long fingers flattened and caressed my hair. I feel like I'm glad we started with him because I feel like he's probably going to be the worst. Like, Kira could be a motherfucking douche hole. Kind of like, what the fuck was his name? An office lover's. But he had glasses, so I was like, I don't even give a shit. Otri was kind of a douche hole with what he did, too. Like, that shit he pulled, but we were like, uh. By that point, we were so ingrained in the game, we were like, whatever! We gotta play these more often so that we get to the point where all of a sudden I'm like, Yeah! Totally treat me like shit. I love it. You know what I mean? Because, like, I start these and I'm like, no, screw you, guy. I know what you're doing. You're a dick. And then, like, by the end of it, I'll be like, you know, I mean, I guess. <laughs> God, they conditioned me. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't particularly like Yonakura. But we've played work. Between this and off Office Lovers was worse. Like, that shit was fucking insane. This is like, he's a dickhole, but... I oh, mean, it's more like you're like, uh, I just don't really like him. Yeah. But some people might like his type of character, and I don't think it's as bad. I don't know. It just doesn't seem as bad to me as Office Lovers. So For a, a Butler game, though. Yeah, no, come on. Not the aesthetic we want, but anyway. Uh, I mean, are you okay, Unicora? Huh? What are you talking about? That article came out, and all that stuff was written about me. My feelings for you weren't something I need to hide or lie about. It's not a big deal if they caught me on camera dating the girl I love, right? Th that's not... What now? <laughs> Plus, love is something that helps an actor grow. Thanks to you, I've experienced how it feels to really fall for a girl. So you're trying to tell me that We've magically changed Douchebag McQueen over here and made him, like, nice. I'm not falling for it, but okay, sure, if you try to tell me that game. We'll just pretend. Until now, I've been so bad at acting like I'm in love, but thanks to you, I think I've gotten a little better at doing it. Acting like you're in love. That, I would believe. Oh. I'm happy to hear him say that, but... But if things continue like this... I got a call from Auntie Aiko... She told me the test was over and that I should go home. Yeah, I know. She contacted me as well. Huh? How can he act so casually despite knowing that? So, let's go, Spacey. Huh? Go where? Euron is worried because of our scandal, right? And then all we have to do is prove it to be a lie. Wh what is he talking about? Yeah, the scandal is he blindfolded and kidnapped a drunk fan. That's fucking pushing it. He's like, she's not a drunk fan. I was blindfolding my girlfriend because I was going to push her off a fucking roof. Wait, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Just I was taking her on a romantic date. Blindfolded as a surprise. That's actually cute. People would be like, oh, that's actually adorable. I mean, he looked at me as I blinked in confusion. Hmm. Unicora smirked fearlessly at me. We'll go and talk to the company that printed this magazine. What? He's going to talk directly to the publisher? You know, piss off an actor. 
You know, it would be really fucking great. Except for we were in a makeup company. It would be so fucking hilarious. If, like, a character from fucking, like, Office Lovers was in here. <laughs> if they were used a sprite, you'd be like, Oh my god, that's amazing! <sighs> they should all tie into each other. That's what I would do if I made a Tome Games. I would always have a random character in the background of this. Like, this character or something that would totally be a, one from a different game. They all take place in the same universe. <laughs> and it's even more fucked up when your character is spacey all the time. It's like, wow, she gets around. <laughs> anyway. we're, we're really here. Unicor had taken me to the publishing company in the middle of the city. Again, if Office Lovers wasn't a makeup company, it was a publishing company. I, I This would have been great. Hey. Well, well, what a surprise. The editor-in-chief couldn't hide his surprise after hearing about our visit. This person is that magazine's editor-in-chief. You really surprised me. I never thought... I never would have thought that the young heartthrob Unicora Shohei would show up. Shohei. Not to mention, without an appointment. Shut up. I didn't come here because I wanted to. As if I'd make an appointment. The article you're coming... Uh, you're... Uh, the article you're going to publish in this magazine is complete rubbish. That's the real reason we're here. Then you came all the way over here to protest it? You put a lot of effort into this. By the way, who is this lovely lady? He looked at me with intrusive eyes, and I instinctively clung to Yonokora. She's the fan that you'd written about in your article. What? But she's not my fan. She's just some random fucking girl I kidnapped off the street. God, get your shit right. I'm, just kidding. I'm the one who fell in love with her. If you're going to write a story, at least get the details right. She's the center of my world. Wow, in a couple of months. We're magic. Y Yonokura. Uh, are you sure we can write an article like that? Yeah, if you're going to write something, write the truth. I'll never allow an article that tarnishes her name to be written. Stop, Yonokura. No, you know, it's... I love him, too. You know that's the right answer. I can't honestly remember from the, I'm not I, I'm pretty sure that's what it said in the guide even though I don't have it out I'm like it doesn't matter at this point we really at this point have got 71 percent we failed Th that's not right either hey Spacey I I love Unicor too so if you're going to revise it you need to say that I love him too wait Unicora are you seriously saying all of this you are telling me to write a real love article, not some cheap scandal? Are... Are you really alright with that? Are you alright with that? Because that doesn't sound like this. you know how to do this. Yeah, of course I am. If you're going to change the article, I'll give you an extraordinarily special scoop. Tell them that Yonokora Shohei is madly in love. What? Yonokora put both of his hands on my cheeks and kissed me deeply. Mm, no, wait! Everyone's looking! The other editor stared in amazement, and I twisted my body to resist. He held me even more tightly and gave me a deeper kiss. He sucked with his penetrating tongue, and without thinking, I held onto Unicor's chest. He sucked with his penetrating tongue. <laughs> did you just gag a little? Because I did reading that second time. Ah, that sounds so disturbingly gross. That sounds like... It literally sounds like some kind of, like, face-sucking alien. Like, it doesn't sound sexy. Uh... Unicor smirked and kissed me even harder. If he does this, he's pretty much going to fuck you on that desk in front of everyone, so just get used to it. I I won't be able to think about anything. Unicor licked the saliva that overflowed from my mouth and spilled down my neck. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... Uh. Oh, God. Okay, we can't hover on that. I can't... Oh, God. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. That is so goddamn fucking disgust. That is not sexy. I'm going to gag. Okay, I, that's that's all I'm going to say about that because I'm literally going to vomit right now. That is so nasty. <laughs> is right. Finally, he bit my earlobe and made my body writhe. I can handle that. I can handle, like, blood and guts and violence. I cannot handle watching movies if somebody throws up. I can't handle seeing it and I can't handle hearing it. And I can't handle spit. I can't. It's so disgusting. So like in movies, somebody's like drooling or there's like or people when they kiss and then there's like the drool. Th uh, I'm going to gag. I can't do it. But like you could stab someone and blood could be spraying everywhere. And I'm like, fine. But uh, 
vomit and spit. Nope. Blah. Blah. Disgusting. I'm gonna gag. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, was like, I couldn't stand properly and breathe roughly as Unicor held me up. That was really disgusting. Hey, why are you spacing out? Because my name is Spacey and I'm traumatized and trying not to vomit right now. Huh? Oh, he was talking to the editor. Unicor has smirked at the editor-in-chief who'd been taken aback from our public display because he doesn't want to admit that he's, like, literally... He's like, I... I'm aroused right now, and I just, I don't want, which is just, actually, he's probably vomited under his desk. You can take pictures if you want. Ew! But you can't show her face. She's my special lady. Ugh. I'm literally just slop, lick, oh. I'm sorry, it keeps replaying in my head, and this visual keeps popping up that I don't want to see, and it's going to make me puke. Anyway. You went to the publishing company. I could hear my aunt from the phone speaker. She was dumbfounded. I yes. You kissed it in front, in front of the editor-in-chief. Are you sane, Yonokora? After returning to the mansion, Yonokora had quickly called Kira and the others. He made an international call to my aunt and explained what had happened to the publisher. Yeah, it looked like his eyeballs were going to jump out of their sockets. I even told them that if they didn't replace the article, I'd do something underhanded. They were surprisingly cooperative with changing the article after that. I swear, the things involving you are... Auntie Igo was probably at wit's end on the other side of the phone. Kira, you didn't follow along to stop them. Don't be so unreasonable, Miss Aiko. He's like, it's not my fucking job. And there's no way I could stop someone so careless and reckless. Even Kira looked, an looked annoyed as he shrugged his shoulders. <laughs> You and Yonokora do fight like cats and dogs, after all. At any rate, that's how we stopped the article from getting published. Now you can hold the Christmas party just like you planned, right? You didn't have to intervene. I was going to threaten them to protect Spacey. I can't believe you want to go to the Christmas party that badly. You were so annoyed at the idea in the first place. I still think the party's going to be a hassle. But I want to see Spacey in her pretty dress. And I want to escort her. That's how I really feel. Yodakora. I see. So, Spacey's the reason why. Yeah. Magic vagina. That's what I have. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, dear God. Madam Aiko, this might be too forward, but... Kagorazaka had been standing at the back like a true butler and listened to the conversation. And that's when he started talking. We've already sent out our invitations, and it'll be problematic if we cancel the week before. I agree with Kagorazaka. It's best if we have the party as planned. Kagorazaka, Kagorazaka, Kirishima, I cannot fucking... Wait, did it so... Is it just missing an I there, or have I just been reading it and it's not there? Kirishima would not be an actual fucking name. In anyway. Even you two are siding with him. I imagine Auntie Aiko looking up at the ceiling as she sighed. Okay. And then let's have the Christmas party as planned. Huh? Are you serious? Uh. Kamasaki and Kira looked relieved as they looked at each other. Yes, so your test will continue until then. Are you alright with staying in the mansion, Spacey? Y yes, of course. Nah, I fucking hate living like a rich bitch. I'll be home in time for the party, so... Spacey, I'm looking forward to seeing your splendid ladylike behavior. I mean, after what just happened in the editor's office, I got a long way to go, because I'm just saying. I felt joy after hearing Auntie Aiko's pleasant words. Okay. I'd forgotten that I couldn't see her face and nodded with all my might. That night, Yonokura and I were alone in a room together. He helped me change, and I entrusted my body to his big hands. Yonokura... Yes, what is it, Miss Spacey? As he skillfully undressed me, Yonokura smiled pleasantly in his butler persona. At first, I'd been so embarrassed changing in front of him and having him see my underwear. Um! You got fucking naked with him on the first day. I'm not saying that you still shouldn't be embarrassed about him changing you and shit, but I didn't want him to see my underwear, but he saw all the 
bits and baubles, and that's cool. I mean, we've had sex, but how dare you hold my hand? It's so lewd. I... I'm confused. Oh, but I'm still embarrassed even now. I mean, yeah, when it's your granny panties, like your granny panty period underwear. Like, yeah, I get that. That's embarrassing. Like, nobody wants to see that. But, like, anyway. Still, now my trust for him and the comfort I feel when we're together is stronger. On the contrary, if he doesn't touch me with his fingers, I get lonely and can't calm down. That sounds really, really, really dirty. Is it okay that you did all that? What do you mean by all that? Like getting on the bad side of the publishing company and telling my aunt about this. Well, will things get worse for you? That doesn't matter to me. He stopped acting like a butler and returned to his real self. He had an unusual smile on as it looked like he had mixed feelings. I want our everyday life together to continue on. I don't want this to end. That's what I think. Yodakura. I said it, didn't I? I'll get rid of anyone who gets in the way. And you need to be determined enough to do that, too. Yeah. Yonakura put more strength into his hands. He grabbed me with them and forcefully pulled me in. I still have a ways to go, and I have no intention of letting my master go. We looked at each other close up, face to face, with our eyes interlocked. Spacey. My heart leapt out of my chest when he whispered my name. Yonakura then tickled my lips with... I don't want to know. A soft kiss. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I don't know how he's going to do that. He's pretty flexy, but... We don't need to save. To be by your side. We got a happy end. I don't know what the... Hold on a second. Boop, 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 boop. You're still seeing that. Let's see. I want to see... We actually managed... We managed to get the happy end. There's happy and normal. With a 70%. Okay. I mean, we answered everything wrong, but whatever. I guess he doesn't give a shit. He easy. All right. Wh what should I do? I'm so nervous. My heart feels like it's about to fly out of my mouth. It felt like a long time, but it had ended in a flash. My surreal three months had ended. Today was the Christmas party. Are you okay? I don't look weird, do I? Don't make that face. Unicor smiled awkwardly as he fixed my bangs with his fingers. You don't have to worry. You'll be fine. You're very beautiful, my lady. Even if you tell me that... Auntie Aiko had prepared that special order dress and this very extravagant jewelry. I don't look like myself, but... When I think about everyone staring at me, it really makes me nervous. You'll have me beside you. Unicora gently whispered into my ear and I finally calmed down. Are your preparations in order, Miss Spacey? He respectfully held his left arm out to me. Y yes I stretched out my arm and entangled it with his. Then, shall we? It's finally time for me to debut at the party. Falls downstairs. I'm just saying, that's what would happen. Unicora opened the door. If this is a rom-com, that's what would happen. In that moment, I could tell that the room had become silent. There was brilliant music and Christmas decorations in the assembly hall. Not to mention, it was overflowing with guests having joyful conversation. Oh... You were late, Yonakura. You too, Miss Spacey. Yeah, well... We, I... Look, dresses are hard, man. The first person that had talked to me after, en after I entered the assembly hall was Kira. You look beautiful, Miss Spacey. Th thank you. Why don't you stop staring at her blankly and say something, Kamasaki? Huh? Uh... uh um, you look very... P pretty, m Miss... Thanks, Kawasaki. Oh my god, the two stuttering idiots. We gotta do his route last, because I feel like he's cannon boy. We've been friends since childhood, and he's stuttering mess, and so are we. Whoa! Unicorn Shohei! No way! Kira's here? Kawasaki, I'm seeing him in person! They all have the same stupid voice, because whatever. I could hear the female guests around me get excited and start to clamor. They're celebrities. I... I knew those three would get a lot of attention. Of course, even if they're on a break, those three are popular A-list celebrities. Everyone seemed to have thought that Auntie Aiko had prepared their butler uniforms for fun. Good work, Spacey. Uh, Auntie Aiko! 
I turned around after she'd suddenly called my name. She smiled pleasantly as she looked at me. Hey, Miss Iko. Splendid job on the party. Hello. <laughs> He's like the awkward weirdo. <laughs> Good work, you three. I'm going to borrow Spacey for a moment. Is that okay, Yonakora? Yeah, but come back as soon as you can. She's my precious master, after all. Jeez, Yonakora's at it again. Please don't lap up my spit in front of my aunt. <laughs> Spacey, you look very pretty. You look exactly like an innocent noblewoman's daughter. Th that's not making any sense. It's probably thanks to the dress and necklace you'd prepare for me. No, I'm not talking about your outward appearance. It feels like you have a different aura around you. Could Yonakora be the reason you've changed? Huh? Well, you're not the only one who's changed. Yonakora has as well. Yonakora has changed? Well, I mean, he was a super douche in the beginning who just liked to fuck with you. And now he, like, calls you his master and shit. So, I mean... Kind of broke the dog in, I guess. <laughs> it's so awful. So, Spacey. Auntie Aiko's gentle eyes changed into strict, business-oriented ones. How would you rate Yonakura? Oh, like a three on the butler scale. But like maybe an eight on the fucking scale. I don't know. <laughs> and like a one on the not being gross scale. Because like slapping on my... That was just nasty. After spending these last three months with him, were you satisfied with his service? Jesus! Listen, some things you don't share with your aunt. I... I'm not sure if I'm satisfied with his service or not, but... These past three months with Yonakora have been like bliss. I see. Auntie Aiko's face became gentle again, and she smiled happily. I understand, Spacey. Good job. In other words, Yonakora has passed, right? Uh, oh. Since he passed, that means he's going to go back to his celebrity lifestyle again. And so the brilliant Christmas party had come to an end. Hey, you did a really wonderful job, Miss Spacey. And the party was a big hit. I'd returned to my room and everyone started to thank me. Yeah, thanks. But I'm really beat. <laughs> well, you were so popular, a large number of guests had surrounded you too. I was asked numerous times by guests to tell them about you. I, I can't believe it. You really were gorgeous, Miss Spacey. Even Kamasaki started spacing out as he stared at you. Huh? What are you saying, Kira? You, you... As Kira and the others were having lively chit-chat, Yonakura was completely silent and said nothing. Yonakura... <laughs> I guess this is farewell to these cramped butler clothes and my fake glasses. <gasps> They're not even real! Oh, the deception! What? Your glasses are fake, Kira? Well... Now, you just lost points, because what the fuck? Yeah, I have 20-20 vision. I wish he hadn't told us that. I wish we found that out in his route, because now it just makes me salty for his route already. I'm like, whatever. I'm, you've already hurt my feelings. And I feel relieved now that I can go back to being myself. Oh, that's right. Tonight's the last night Kira and the others have to act as my butlers. Starting tomorrow, Yonakura and the others will... At any rate, I'm sure you're tired, so please take it easy and rest. Okay, thanks. Well then, good night, Miss Spacey. Sweet dreams. Night. Having said their good nights, they left my room. Only Yonakora and I were left in the room. Good work out there, Miss Spacey. You were perfect. I feel proud to have been given the chance to escort you. Yonakora... Tonight, Yonakura seemed a little more different than usual. Is it because tonight's the last night we can spend together? Thanks. I was able to do so well thanks to you, Yonakura. Don't be so modest. Even if I hadn't taught you, you would have done an amazing job. I mean, you are the girl I fell in love with. I still think it's funny that he doesn't know how to treat a woman, but it's okay for him to teach me how to be a woman? Does that seem really fucking weird? Anybody? Okay. Just me. Okay. Just he let out a smile and held my hips. At first, I thought the test was going to be a pain, but I'm glad I came here. 
Thanks to that opportunity, I was able to meet you. Unicora... Until now, I've just done things the way I wanted to. Until now, I've just done the things I wanted to do the way I wanted to. I didn't think about others. I always just did as I pleased. But now, I think about how I want to see you smile rather than about myself. I feel like I've learned the happiness that comes from serving somebody. Unicora... His voice became unusually serious. When I think about you, I feel like I can naturally act like I'm in love with someone. How should I put it? My range of emotions has extended, so you're not 100% an asshole. You're just like 98% asshole and like 2% normal? Okay, cool. Sheesh. It's not like me to be so serious. No, that's not true. Yonokura was embarrassed as he smiled, and I instinctively shook my head. Even I was able to help out Yonokura. Just thinking about that makes me happy. Hey, Yonokura, are you still my butler? Yeah, I'm your personal butler until tomorrow morning. Until tomorrow morning? Then, tonight, could you hold me until morning? And then in the morning, fuck me like a porn star? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please don't make me read that, though. Spacey, after the here... Uh after hearing what I'd said, Yonokura opened his eyes in shock. You'll be fine with just me holding you? After that, he smiled gleefully and gazed into my eyes. Uh, I can do a whole lot more. Actually, I want to do more. He kissed me before he could finish his own sentence. Okay, then you can do whatever you want with me until morning. Woo! Girl! Please don't make me read it! This is the... Oh, this is the happy end, so it should be like this. Okay, never mind. Hey... This time, he was really shocked. Spacey, if you say something like that, you won't be able to sleep tonight. I might not be able to walk tomorrow either, apparently. Yeah, it'll be fine, even if I don't sleep. That's fine. I mean, when morning comes, Yonokura won't be my butler anymore. Spacey, you really are cute. When you look up at me like that, I can't hold myself back anymore. His cheeks were unusually pink as he let a smile slip out. He hugged me tightly. I won't let you complain about not getting enough sleep once morning comes. However, the next morning, you're like, yeah, you're not going to be able to sleep all night. So five minutes was everything you got? Really? Okay. <laughs> Unicora? When I'd woken up, Unicora wasn't anywhere to be seen. He did a bang and run. It was a hit and run, motherfucker! Anyway. It just, the glasses. I miss them. God, I feel so deceived. Ah, uh, good morning, Spacey Doll. Good morning, Spacey Doll. The fuck is that? Spacey Doll? Wh what are you doing, Kira? I'm packing my bags. Kamasaki and I have to go back home, after all. Shouldn't you pack up your things soon, too? Kira sure has become frank after quitting a being a quitting being a butler. Also, it's really rude of her aunt to be like, Okay, it's morning, get the fuck out of my house. I can see her being like, Alright, everybody else go, but like I'm her niece for fuck's sake. Like, um where's Yonokura? Oh, work, apparently. Oh, Kamasaki, work? This early in the morning? He's been on a break for three months after all. I'm sure his work kept piling up. I see. It kind of feels like everything really has ended. <laughs> Don't make that sad face now. It makes me want to tease you. What? To tease me? It'll be all right. If I see Yonokura, I'll tell him how sad you were and that he should see you. Th thank you. K Kira's kind of an asshole. The difference between his real self and butler self might be really big. That's what's going to be fun in his route. They really left. The afternoon had rolled around, and cars came for Kira and Kamasaki respectif respectfully. Res Does that really say respectfully? Shouldn't it be respectively? Respectfully. I don't... Okay. We said our goodbyes, and they had really left the mansion. I'm the only one left now. I kind of really feel lonely. 
Miss Spacey. Oh, Kagurazaka. I realized Kagurazaka had been standing close to me, chuckling as he looked at me. He's like, <laughs> why the fuck are you still here? Get the fuck out. Shall I make some tea for you? But I have to pack my things. <laughs> It'll be alright if you don't do it in a hurry. This place is like your second home. We think of you as our master and don't mind calling you Miss Spacey. This is like your second home. I've only been here for three months and I didn't even know who you were when you came and took me away. I'm just... Kagorazaka, you really are kind, aren't you? <laughs> is that what you think? Beneath this smile, I might unexpectedly be thinking of some grand scheme. Like something that I could never say in front of you. Um, but you're not one of our potential romancy boys. Oh my god, is that like a secret route opens up? And you're like, oh, by the way, you can now date him and you think he's a nice guy and now he's being... Don't be shady like the other boys. I want to respect you that you were a nice, kind, gentlemanly butler. And now you're saying things that's making me concerned. Huh? You're joking, right? Of course. I'm just kidding. Kagorazaka chuckled, looking composed. His name is so hard to say. Well then, I'll go and prepare the tea. Please wait a moment, Miss Spacey. Uh, okay? Ah, my heart was beating so fast. As I waited for Kagorazaka, who disappeared into the dining hall. Miss Spacey! Kirishima, what's wrong? It was rare to see Kirishima so panicked. Uh, could you come here for a moment? He opened the sideboard door. And there was a small TV inside. With a stern face, Kirishima used the remote to turn it on. Huh? This is... A morning talk show? How unusual for Kirishima to show me something like this. Uh, it's Yonokura bouncing on a couch. I'm in love! Tom Cruise fucking style. Not to mention, this is the first time I've seen a TV in the mansion. She's like, where the fuck is this pen? I missed it! Three months with no TV. How do you watch anime? Please just watch. Also, your aunt doesn't have a fucking TV. Like, that bitch never watches fucking TV. Bullshit. She watches her fucking, like, soap operas and fucking rom-coms. You know that shit. Kirishima had, com had a complex expression on his face as he made me watch TV. Uh, okay. The person on screen was... Huh? Y Yonakura. Like, we didn't see that coming. The scarlet red hair that had been so familiar with had shown up in the middle of the screen... I think he's saying that, but his hair is like a reddish brown. The truth about your passionate relationship? Your partner is a member of the general public. Close to the television station's entrance, Yonokoro was being mobbed by the press. Oh, could they be talking about that article? According to the article, your partner is a college student, but... You're dating because you hope to get married to each other one day? They make it sound like you're you're dating because you hope to get married someday? I mean, usually... I mean, maybe if you don't believe in marriage, but, like, generally, general consensus is you date someone with the thought that you will potentially spend your rest of your life with them. Now, you start dating someone, and you find out that's not true, and you break up. But the whole intent is not like, I'm just dating this person for the next couple months for funsies. <laughs> Unless you're an asshole. But, like, most people date to find a life partner. You know what I'm saying? So, you're dating because someday you want to actually settle down? What? Weird. Like, they make things sound so fucking odd that are totally fucking normal. And then they make things that are really fucking creepy sound like a normal elix someone spit off their face. Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Mary? There's no way. Yes, of course. What? The press began to stir after Yonokura had confirmed that fact. And it's like, we don't have a choice. And she's like, wait, what? That's crazy. And he's like, yeah, no, I'm going to marry her. And she's going to my babies. And we're like, I don't want this. She's never like, oh, really? She's always like, wait, no, what? Uh, It's awkward, right? In all these games, it's like that. Well, like, not every game, but there's always like, the guy's always like, yeah, yeah, no, we're going to get married. And she's going to have my kids. And she's always like, but, uh, what, uh. It's like she doesn't want it, and they've already decided for her, and we don't have a choice. We just have to go along with it. It's a little creepy when you dig down underneath it. We're supposed to be like, oh, it's fine, because we, we like this is what we're, we came to play the game for. But if you take a step back, it's really fucking like, she doesn't seem to really want it. They're almost worse than Toma's. Because Toma at least threw us in a cage and was like, you're going to learn to like it. And we're like, oh, I don't think so. 
But these guys are like, yeah, no, we're going to get married. And she's like, I guess so. Oh, God. Anyway. Ah, the press began to stir after Yona Cora had confirmed that fact. Oh, but I haven't told her yet. Does that mean you haven't proposed to her yet? Yeah, I'll do it once I see her tonight. Huh? Y Yonakura! That, I mean, that ruins it. But it's been three months! Okay, that's a little rushy and sounds a little sad, scary. Like, look, when you're fucking old, you get to a point in age and you're like, no, three months is fine. But when you like 20... Three months is not enough. No. No, you need a little bit more time. Like, no, 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 no. Also, again, he's basically forcing us into a marriage. But, but she's going to be so fine with it, even though right now she was like, <gasps> what? Anyway. When you say tonight, does that mean you're already living together? Please give us an answer, Unicora. Well, if she refuses my proposal, then that's when I'll give a formal statement. He had an awkward smile on as he waved to the press and entered the TV station. I stared blankly at his back that was being displayed on the TV screen. He's going to propose to me? And you ru- Kirishima, you ruined this for me! Is he joking or- Is he serious? Why would you tell the public that you're going to propose to your girlfriend and then not do it? Because she saw it and she'd be like, so what? And he'd be like, nah, I just told them that. So like, what are you going to tell them when they ask? Be like, no, I didn't do it. I was fucking with you. Like, What you doing, Poker? You hiding in your cage because you've been naughty? She's a big naughty bar? You're sitting there like you're punished. Yeah, you pooped on my couch and that's naughty. But it didn't say you had to be punished. It just said you know better. What are you doing in there? You're just sitting in there. Did you know where to come out and play? Oh, the sun's out? Alright. Later that night, you and Akora had returned to my room. I thought we were supposed to leave the mansion. Why are we still fucking here? We never gonna... And he's... I'm home, Spacey. Yonakura! I rushed over to him without thinking as he unexpectedly entered my room. What's going on? You said those things on the TV! Huh? Oh, you were watching? Yonakura frowned and scratched his face roughly. It's not very funny if I say it on TV before telling you. But before telling me. I was dumbfounded and looked up at Yonakura. Uh, <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do if you saw it. I was going to tell you tonight either way. Not ask you. I was going to tell you tonight. Tell me what? That we're getting married? You're just going to tell me. Again, you're making the decision for me. Y Yonakura. It could be the translation, but it just, you know. It adds to the shadiness of these motherfuckers is all it is. So I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But Spacey. Before I knew it, Yonakura had an earnest expression on. He stood in front of me and looked right at me. And then, marry me, Spacey. I could see his arrogant face overflowing with confidence as he said those words. Not his most beautiful, his arrogant, smug, douche face. And of course I'm in love with him. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway. Or do you want me to say, please marry me, Miss Spacey? Oh. I smiled pleasantly as my face started to get hot. Marry? I'm going to marry Yonakura? No, I, I, not if you don't want to. She just doesn't think she has a choice. I... I... I was so happy. Oh, God. I didn't know what to say, and my eyes began to wander. Spacey... He grabbed my arms forcefully, and... Unicora! Be quiet. Unicora whispered sweetly. I don't think anything he does is sweet, but... He captured my chin as if it... As if it were a surprise attack, and kissed me with all of his might. Uh... His lips pressed deeply against mine, and his tongue forcefully split my mouth open. Why do they put things in there? It sounds really fucking awkward. I know you're trying to give us a graphic depiction, but it's really... It just sounds... Okay. Anyway. I got used to his overbearing kisses in these past few months. <laughs> it was painful, but oh so sweet. Unicor's choking scent began to make me dizzy. Spacey... Unicora's voice also became hoarse as he couldn't hide how aroused he was. Well, what's your answer, Spacey? Yet yeah, he is aroused by dominating you. Of course, it is yes, isn't it? Uh. He continued kissing me at different angles, and in between kisses, Unicora whispered with his voice filled with lust. Uh huh. I wanted to say yes, but 
Unicorn's fist kisses felt so good. I couldn't think of anything at all. Again, he is like, this is... I wanted to say no, but here I am, married. <laughs> Choking noises. <laughs> That's all I feel when she's like... Ugh. As her lips finally separated, our saliva made a line. Why? Why is that a thing? That's disgusting. That's not sexy. Uh, and uh, I looked up at Yonakura with eyes clouded in moisture from the heat. How do your eyes cloud over with, I mean, glasses do, but like your eyes? <laughs> what is happening? I'll ask you one more time. What's your answer, Spacey? Yonakura... Of course it's yes. Ugh. The spit line. Ugh. Why? Why? Look, I understand sometimes they animate that in things, but why did we need to specifically graphically describe that? That is fucking disgusting. It's not sexy. That is not a turn on. I want to vomit and burn my flesh off. Like, gross. I go scrub my skin raw. Ugh. I put my arms around his neck and... With a smile, I jumped onto his chest. That's gonna hurt. All right, well, we only... How do we only... I thought I had 67. We only ended up with 65%. But that's okay. Um, So we... Okay. I think we do chapter 7 and we can do the normal end. Let's actually go in... I, we might be missing some CGs because we didn't do certain answers. I'm sure that's from the other one. We'll find out about the ones that we're missing after we do the date scenarios and all of that. We might not be missing any. I don't know. Um, but. I mean, like, seriously? Choky rapey. Like. Why are there. Oh, what's that? Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. God, that was weird. Okay. Okay. Why in the world there's that? How is that different than this? Oh, it's just a different, like, angle of it. It's the exact... We got a lot of this CG, but it's basically the exact same fucking thing. That's really fucking... Same as this one. It's a little bit of a cheat when you give us... The C same CG, but, like, the other one was cropped in a little more. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's not the same. It's two versions of the same CG. Like, I don't know. Again, this one is puppet face. Like, he totally... There's no life in his eyes whatsoever. He is dead. He is so fucking dead. <laughs> like, his eye, Like, he's dead in the eyes. She, it's literally... She's like, this is my ventriloquist dummy that I had Geppetto make me. That's what he looks like, and it's like, oh, look, you get the full thing. Okay. But, like, it's just, there's something about his face so awkward. So we're missing that. Um, the sub pit slot. <laughs> oh, God, I can't. Um, so we'll probably do all the date scenarios and everything like that. Um, his eyes are actually really pretty here. I do like that. Like, the way they drew him. See, here his hair is red. This is, like, you know what I mean? Um. And then that was the, uh, okay. So, like, this isn't, like, the best one. But it's, like, the one that's just him. But, um. Actually, we'll use the this one so you get the full, full screen effect. So, um. I know we could do the date scenario and all of that stuff. But we'll probably go through. We'll do the normal end. In the next part. Um, and then maybe we'll do the date scenario and stuff like that. We'll see how long they take. Because I'm not sure how long they're going to take. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't want to be halfway through that. You know, when we end the... Like when we do the... But if we can fit all three of them in. Or maybe we'll do the normal end. One of the scenarios and do the other. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So anyway. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.